The humanities are the stories of our human experience. I think the humanities is... Knowing the difference between right and wrong and acting accordingly so. Florida Humanities is stressing humanities, and there's the human part of humanities, and so much of the world that we live in today ignores the human element. What that means to me is that our responsibilities are to serve communities all over Florida and to help community organizations bring the humanities to people of all backgrounds, wherever located. Good afternoon, everyone. Our prayers have been answered. We have a beautiful day. We do that through a long established grants program. We also have specific programs, kind of templated programs. Uh, for example, Museum on Main Street. This is very, very important, this museum. One of the things... It began back in the late 1980s when Sites, the parent unit of the Museum on Main Street, began uh, working closely with some of the Western uh, State Humanities Councils to try and put exhibitions in smaller communities. There's a lot of families that have been here for a long time, and those kids wouldn't be able to see exhibitions like this, most likely in their lifetime, unless it was here. I am thy priest and thy poet, I am thy serf and thy king. I... We run a program called Poetry Out Loud. This is what we do second semester. The first thing we do when the kids come back, we do Poetry Out Loud. Classroom competitions, then school-wide competition. Then that goes to a state competition, and the young person that wins the state competition goes to a national competition where they represent the state of Florida. And in a world where we text, and where we have so much technology and we don't have human voices, poetry makes us slow down. Poetry connects us to that shared humanity. Poetry does all of that, as do all the humanities. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. This tour app is so exciting. It's something that we've talked about doing forever. And without the Humanities Council, there's no way we ever could have pulled this off. We actually have created an app on your phone called Florida Stories. It's almost like bringing a museum with you on the tour into the city. The history of Lincolnville as part of the Florida Stories app is a, it's a win for us because... It has enabled us to get that story out there. And once people come in, they realize that, gee, this is one that I don't want to miss. Finally, for the better part of four decades, we have produced Forum Magazine. Forum really is a convener of people around the state, and it focuses on our common purpose and our common love of the state. And Forum Magazine is a discussion and often a celebration of Florida's history and culture. Humanities can be in a way a difficult thing to explain because it covers so many different areas. To me, the humanities are anything really that helps us as people think through who we are. What we're a part of tonight will also be a great part of this community's Coral Springs and Parkland's healing. I have a hard time imagining sort of where the center of gravity is for doing this kind of work without the Florida Humanities Council. There has not been an event that we've had that the Florida Humanities Council has not been somehow, some way involved. Without the help of the Florida Humanities Council and the Smithsonian, there's no way this would have come to us. We wouldn't have known about it. The only way we can reach communities across the nation is through collaborations such as these. If I were to explain it to somebody, I would say that humanities is the study of us when life's daydreams melt and vanish from the sight, may our dim and longing vision then be blessed with light. Florida Humanities has been serving Florida for now over 45 years. And we intend to continue our work for at least another 45 years.